Oh, let's keep it going, huh? Helium tonight. All right. I, uh, you know, I'm at that point, I'm at that age where I just don't want the last words I hear to be oops. I, uh, you know, we had some talk about going to war. I was in the military. I, uh, I traded my bong, you know, for an M60 machine gun. You know, I, I'm kind of jealous of, of the millennials going into the military because they just have to trade in their PS4 controllers for an Xbox One. Um, we didn't have the drones back then. But um, I joined the military and uh, I got married while I was in the military because they don't issue you a wife. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I met this beautiful gal. She was a wonderful person, she's a wonderful gal, very beautiful, said all the right words, you know, I'm pregnant. But um, it turns out she wasn't, but I, I didn't, I didn't it, we got by it, and, and I had a job that took me out of, the, out of the world for three, six, nine months out of the year, right? And I never cheated on my wife, but uh, somehow ended up with gonorrhea twice. You know, so I'll, while I was out serving and protecting, she was back home serving without protection, right? And you know, sure, sure, I get it, I get it. You know, she said she got it from the restaurant, you know, that she goes to, she got it from the toilet stall, right? So shame on me for not, you know, saying anything the first time, right? But the second time, you know, I had to tell her, quick going to that fucking restaurant. Uh, and you know, we were, we were young when we got married and you know, it, people told us, you know, oh, don't get married when you're young, too, too young, don't get married. And to them, you know, I just gotta say they were right. Uh, but, uh, you know, they also said, you should get a prenuptial agreement, prenup, you know. And, 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 and at the time, I thought, you know, getting a prenuptial was like, you know, wearing a condom on your wedding night. But it turns out I should have done both, right? I, uh, you know, and in the military, they warn you about these STDs, they scare you about these STDs, right? And they have this story where this guy goes to the doctor and he shows the doctor, he's, he's pissing razor blades, he goes to the doctor, he shows him his junk, the doctor freaks out, goes, we're gonna have to amputate. The guy goes, oh, wait, I gotta get a second opinion. Gotta get a second opinion. Goes to another doctor, right? Shows him his, shows him his junk. And he's, he's terrified, he's going, well, doc, do you think we're gonna have to amputate? And the doctor just laughs at him, he goes, no, 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 that thing's gonna fall off two, three days top. I'm Dennis, that's my doctor. <laughs> 